Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ricky. If you like the hair that I have in this video, I already have a tutorial on it that will be linked in my description box. My eyebrows are already done, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre, and I'm just going to start priming my eyes with the Morphe JH08 brush, just blending it out however far that I want to make sure that there are absolutely no harsh lines before we start with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take my scotch tape, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand a few times because I want it to be a lot more gentle when I put it around my eyes. Now if you notice, hopefully you can see that I did leave space from my lower lash line to the edge of the tape and that is going to come in handy later in the tutorial. Alright, now I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Eyeshadow Palette. This is going to be the main palette that we're using today. I'm going to take a Morphe M124 brush on the shade Death Blow. And this is the matte white shade in the palette, and I'm just going to put one or two layers of that to get it really, really bright and opaque right under the brow. Next, I'm going to take a Sigma E40 and the shades Life Insurance and Wednesday, and I'm just slowly going to build that up in my crease. Not super clean here, just messily from all the way to the outer corner to the inner corner, making sure to press against that tape when I'm going to the outside. And because it's a very big brush, I am kind of blending it towards the white. Now on a Sigma E35 and the shade Solemnly Swear, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. This is a little bit darker, I'm going to focus it a little bit more on the outer corner, but still blending it up basically all the way to the inner and outer parts of my eyelid. Now on a Morphe JH40, I'm going to take the shade Hearse, which is the black shade in the palette, and I'm just going to start to kind of outline my crease, kind of if I were to do a cut crease here. And very, very lightly, just with a little bit of eyeshadow, I'm just building that up over and over and over again where I want it to be the darkest. Now I'm going to take my MAC 217 with a tiny, tiny bit of product and I'm just bringing this to the outer corner, blending it towards the tape, and then I'm going to go back in with my JH40 brush and the shade Solemnly Swear, and I'm going to start just blending it up a little bit just with a little bit of eyeshadow at a time, kind of blending that black shade up in towards the white. You just really want to take your time on this step because going in with a little bit too much eyeshadow can be a little bit detrimental. So now I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm just building up that black, then I'm going in with my MAC 217, keeping it as low as possible, just blending out the edges a little bit, back in with the JH40 with a little bit of that darker gray shade, and very, very slowly building it up and blending it up, creating the shape that I want. Now on my Sigma E40 and the shade Wednesday, I'm just going to buff out that darker gray shade that we were just applying. This is really, really going to help blend from the black to the white as seamlessly as possible. And from this point, all you're going to want to do is just to keep blending until you get it the way that you want it. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M124 brush and add a little bit more of that white shade, which is called Death Blow, to highlight the brow a bit more. Taking my P. Louise Pro Base in the shade Rumor 2 on an Alp smudge brush, I'm going to cut my crease now. And this just takes practice. Thankfully, I've had quite a bit of practice doing it, but you just want to go slow and in very small strokes and just very slowly map out where you want to cut your crease. Make sure you're practicing it with your eyes open as well so you can see how it looks like when your eyes are all the way open. On a Morphe M434 brush, I'm just going to blend that black a little bit. And I'm going to go to the other side, taking the Elf Smudge brush again, just very slowly lining out where I want to cut the crease. As slow as you need to, I'm going to emphasize that a lot and just blending it out softly. Morphe M434 again to blend it into the black. Now I'm going to take my Morphe JH40 on the shade Hearse and I'm going to add a little bit of black to the outer corner because this isn't a full cut crease, it is going to be more of a half cut crease. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of product and slowly build it into where we just put that P. Louise base. Doing the same thing on the other side, I do want it to be as dark as possible right on the outer corner, so I'm going to focus most of my product right on the outer corner against the tape. Now I'm going to take the shade Goodbye on a Morphe JH41 brush, and this is a little bit of a sheen shade. As you can see, it hits the light differently than the matte eyeshadows I've been using, and I just thought it'd be a really pretty addition to this look. Morphe JH40 again to blend those two together, and a MAC 217 again to blend in that black. Now going back in with my Morphe JH41 on the other eye, 
and I'm just going to add a little bit more of that goodbye shade to make it as bright as possible. And then we're going to go in again and try to blend those two shades together to make it as seamlessly possible with the Morphe JH40 brush. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M410 brush and my Inglot liner and this is going to be my eyeliner. I decided not to wing it out today, so I'm just going to do a nice black line from the very inner corner to the outer corner. Uh, sometimes I like to wing out my liner, sometimes I don't, and today I felt like the eyeshadow already had a really great shape and I just wanted to leave it the way that it was. But you can definitely wing it out if you want to, it would still look great. Now I'm just going to pop on some lashes and after the lashes are on, you can kind of start to see the look coming together. It's time to take off the tape and I'm going to take a little bit of Q-tip with some makeup remover, clean up underneath and any edges that need to be cleaned up and now it's time for the face makeup. I'm going in with my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in the shade 10 Classic Ivory and a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to put on their foundation at this point but I still wanted to show you. Usually my competition shade would be much much darker but since I was not tan I just used my regular foundation shade. Now taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 6. Like I said, this concealer I actually would use for my competition, so against my competition foundation it would look much lighter, but here it just looks like my regular foundation shade and I'm still taking the Real Techniques sponge, blending that out. I really really love this combo together. It actually is pretty full coverage and it looks really really glowy and I love how it looks. Kat Von D Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent on a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just going to put that under my eyes, around the nose, in between my brows on the forehead, and then I'm going to take a Morphe JH01 using the same powder and basically place it everywhere else that it needs to be placed. Now after I've got powder literally everywhere, it's time to bronze. I'm taking my NYC Smooth Skin Parfait Bronzer on a Morphe JH03 brush. This is in the shade 720 Sunny, and I'm just bronzing up my face on the temples and my cheekbones. MAC Blush in the shade Desert Rose on a Morphe JH06. Absolutely love this blush brush. It applies blush beautifully. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Wednesday on a Morphe E18 brush. And it, we're going to start the lower lash line. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This is basically going to be inner to outer corner. A little bit more dramatic on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the shade Grave Digger on a Morphe E36, which is slightly smaller. And I'm going to focus that on the outside. Morphe M508 brush on the black shade Hearse. I'm going to focus this just on the outer corner and slowly dragging it in towards the inner corner to build up that lower lash line. Then Morphe E36 just to lightly blend it out with no excess product. Taking my Inglot eyeliner again on a Morphe M410 brush and just throwing that right in the waterline. Then I'm going to take my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper Black and I'm going to create my cat eyeliner for the inner corner. This is completely up to you if you want to do that. Personally, I like the shape and I like it quite dramatic. Now I'm going to take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2 on a Sigma E36. I'm going to take the super bright yellow shade and place that right on my inner corner. And then I'm going to take my Juvia's Place, the Saharan Palette, and I'm going to take that gold shade and I'm going to take it on a Morphe JH42. And I'm placing that right on top of the yellow to give it a brighter kind of glittery sheen so it pops even more on the inner corner. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Black Noir to define my lower lashes. I love this mascara for my lower lashes because I have very short lower lashes and this does a good job defining them. Next I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Blushing and Bali Palette on the shade Glisten on a Morphe JH09 brush and I'm going to place that on all the normal parts of my face that I would usually highlight. Absolutely love this highlight. I'm going to take a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Red Rum. And of course, I have to do a classic red lip with this look. I love the way that it turned out. And after that, I you know that I love a glossy lip. So I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Glass in the shade Wake Up. And I think these two products are the perfect combo. And now this is the final look. I definitely don't do a lot of looks like this that are cool toned. So I really hope you enjoyed this different makeup tutorial. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's going to be at RickyTBeauty so you can see all the makeup looks that don't make it to here on YouTube. And you can also follow me at RickyTBeauty on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. My YouTube channel is Ricky Taylor Dubovic, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.